In this video, we're going to show you how to fit the new cab carpets available from Transporter HQ. It's actually a lot easier in a T5 compared to a T6, as there are less lower dash panels to remove. If you have a double passenger seat, it's not much different, there's just a handful more bolts to remove. They're also available in grey, red, blue and biscuit, and they come with full written instructions for both T5 and T6. So. Getting stuck in, the first thing you need to do is remove both your passenger and driver's seats and then remove the seat bases. Disconnect the wiring loom from the passenger side seat base. Use a flathead screwdriver to remove the cover from the handbrake and then use a 10mm socket to disconnect the handbrake cable. As you can see, this vehicle is fitted with a diesel heater, making it a bit more awkward. Make sure your rubber floor mat is clean and free from dirt and grit. Next up, remove the B-pillar plastics and the side steps. After that, remove all the T20 screws from the lower dash plastics using a trim tool. Remove the plastics from the side of the dash and remove the light switch. Remove the dash plastic from under the steering wheel. On both sides of the vehicle, remove the seals. Continue removing the screws from the lower dash plastics and remove the gear gator. There's a screw hidden behind here. Do the same on the passenger side dashboard. Remove the fuse board cover and remove the glove box. You should now be able to remove the centre part of the dashboard around the gear stick, making sure you disconnect the 12 volt power connector. And there you go, you're ready to fit the carpet. Fit the supplied piece of foam to the centre of the floor, and then get your carpet in the vehicle. Start working the carpet into position, making sure it's not caught on anything. As this carpet is for T5 and T6 models, there are a few bits that need some adjustment. Make a small cut around the gear linkages and a small cut in the passenger side footwell, shown here. This will help you work the carpet into position. On a T6, you'll also need to cut around the fuse board and round the wiring loom by the driver's side clutch pedal. Continue working the carpet into position. When you're happy with the position, cut an X over one of the studs that the seat bolts into to help hold the carpet in position. Pop the handbrake cable and wiring loom through the slot provided. As you can see here, we've cut the carpet round the diesel heater, but if you haven't got one fitted, you wouldn't need to do this. When you're definitely happy with the position, cut X's over all the remaining seat studs. Cut a large X under the passenger seat for the wiring loom. In the corner of the steps, cut on an angle so you can remove the extra material. Halfway along the step, you also need to shave off a small amount of material, as shown. Trim around the B pillars if necessary.
then glue the fabric strips onto the metalwork. Cut off any excess and then carefully replace the seal. Now all you've got to do is put it all back together in reverse order and job done.